knowing very well anything less than a win would be disastrous for them for india it was going to be a bonus they had already won the test series and the first one day international a win here would make a clean sweep of the series india came into this game without any changes from the side that beat sri lanka by just one run sri lanka made two changes bringing in romesh kalvitharana for astrid de silva behind the wickets and roshan mahanama who was carrying an injury was replaced by muttaya muralidharan that was not surprising considering the fact that this wicket would be slow so the tussle was on when mohammad azharuddin called correct and invited sri lanka in the ground was getting half full and more people was expected as the sri lankan openers asank gurusinga and chandika hadur singa walked in we pick up play in the first over with kapil dev into asank gurusinga gurusinga off the mark forced to open the innings in the absence of roshan mahanama Manoj Prabhaka is the danger. Well struck on the off side past Rajesh Chauhan but the outfield extremely slow. Good bit of fielding there. Hathur Singh made a fine half century in the first match and he has made some good scores in important matches at this venue so he's confident. Kapil Dev over pitching and very firmly struck on the offside square and that's four very good runs to Chandika Hathur Singha. The crowd building up rapidly. Played officially, he's gone. Rajesh Chauhan, the fielder. And 22 minutes into the game, Sri Lanka lose their first wicket with the total at 27 in the eighth over. Guru Singha going for the off drive. Played it officially and a very well anticipated catch by Rajesh Chauhan. Probably he held back that ball and Guru Singha took an awful lot of time getting into position and when he finally played it, it was officially and straight to the fielder. Good breakthrough there for India. Hashan Tilkaratna also forced to bat higher up in the order and the Sri Lanka has to consolidate at this stage. He's a useful batsman and a good right hand left hand combination would do a lot more to the Sri Lankan batting. Edges it safely. That's very good work there by Javagal Srinath. Covered a lot of grounds and then made a safe collection. Kapil Dev expensive and erratic. But Javagal Srinath coming into the attack as first change. The ball plays past uh, Mohamed Azuruddin. Sachin Tendulkar, double bowling change in the 11th over. A well struck onto his pads and very firmly hit indeed. That's good batting by Hashan Tilakaratna. Although the run's not coming at the same pace Sri Lanka may have liked. Confident appeal, Tendulkar was tightening up during the early stages. Edges it uppishly, safely into the gap. And another safe collection by Navjot Sidhu on the boundary. And the Indians were fielding a lot better on this occasion. The 50 partnership approaching. Sri Lanka made 50 in the 16th over. Direct hit, but the batsman home. This is good out cricket. Navjot Sidhu, the fielder. But Hachan Tilakaratna, very quick. 20th over, and this is the fifth bowler tried. That would have been close had it hit the stumps. The 50 partnership coming up in 66 minutes in 16.4 overs. Wrapped on the bat, he's gone. No mistake about that. Well bowled Chawan. It's 2 for 82 in the 26th over. Hashan Tilakaratna, the batsman out.
took a lot of time he was out for 23 and the partnership although made some runs took a lot of time Arvind De Silva made 62 in the first game much depends on the Sri Lankan vice captain Kumle expected into the attack later Neatly played Again, close call for the Sri Lankan batsman. Sajin Tenduka is a fine fielder at mid wicket. Saw the possibility of having Aravind De Silva. It would have been curtains down had he hit the wickets. Full toss, well played. That's not the best of efforts. Four runs. Deserved to be hit. And Kapil Dev proving expensive. The ground was a chock a block situation and a riot of colour at this stage. He's gone. Very good recovery by the bowler. And Chandika Hathur Singh departs. 3 for 103 in the 32nd over. You don't take too many chances with champion cricketers, and that's exactly what happened. Very poor effort on the part of both batsmen and Hathur Singha was too far down. Hit middle wicket and no way he was going to miss that one. The experience of Kapil Dev showing. Aravinda started off, realized the danger and then Hathur Singha was too far down. He had taken a lot of time to score the runs. Skipper Arjun Ranatunga in. A lot depends on him. Here's Kumle, the sixth bowler for India. That's where Arjun scores most of his runs in one day cricket. The Sri Lankan 100 coming up in the 32nd over of 128 minutes of batting. Well struck, but straight to the fielder. He's gone. Mohamed Azaruddin has a safe pair of hands. And Sri Lanka in trouble at 4 for 109 in the 34th over. Aravind De Silva disappointed. And this was a very good breakthrough by Kapil Dev. Had a hand in both dismissals in consecutive overs of his. And the Indian captain delighted to have the wicket of Aravind De Silva. So India at this stage was tightening the screws on Sri Lanka as Sanat Jayasurya walked in. So two left-handers at the middle. Well placed on the offside. Excellent running between wickets. Jayasurya one of the quickest and Vinod Kamli couldn't beat him. This is champagne cricket. A very good pick up and throw by Vinod Kamli coming in from the boundary. But see Jayasurya, he's so quick and made his ground with a lot of time to spare. Pranatunga neatly turned off. Misfielded. Kamli would regret it. Pranatunga also a very quick mover. Very few boundaries coming in the early part of the innings. Oh, well played and equally well placed. Midway through the innings, the run rate was well below four and that was of concern for the Sri Lankans. Made room, didn't quite hit it where he intended. Rantunga has to hurry, he makes it. Oh, well struck, that was short. A long chase there for the fielder. He won't make it. Four runs. Took it well. Sanat Jasurya. That uh, scoring rate uh, well below what Sri Lanka may have really wanted. But plenty of batting to come in the Sri Lankan tail. 
Oh, played an ambitious stroke. He was not happy with the decision, but umpire Patrana had other ideas. Sanat Jayasuri reports it's 5 for 142 in the 41st over. It was a good partnership between the captain and Sanat Jayasuri. 33 runs coming in 30 minutes of batting. One of two changes, Romesh Kalvitarna comes in to bat. Definitely played. Sri Lanka needs runs. Whichever way it comes. And with uh, Arjun Rantunga at the other end, anything could happen. Well, that's not good cricket. He made that single into a couple. Rantunga home but barely. The 150 coming in the 42nd over of 177 minutes of batting. And this was always going to be very close. And Ranatunga really stretched. It's a good throw. But at the last moment, it just fell short of the wicketkeeper. Direct hit. He's gone. That's good cricket by Manoj Prabhakar. Romesh Kalavitarna out. It's 6 for 158 in the 44th over. Ranatunga looked and called for that single. And look at that. Fine throw. Mohamed Azaruddin dead on target. Ruan Kalpage can bat if the need arises. So India really supporting their bowlers very well. Srinath dropping it short. Beautifully played by Arjun Ranatunga. And an equally good effort from the Indians sweeper cover. Very good out cricket all round on that shot. Looking for the acceleration. Prabhaka in. Ranatunga in full cry. Leading the onslaught from the front. Beats the fielder. Four runs. Kumle. Okay, bell struck once more. Made room for himself. That'll be four runs on the offside. Fine stroke from Arjun Rantunga. One batsman who can turn the tide whenever the chance is there. Well struck. That's his 21st one day half century and the first in 16 matches since Australia in the World Cup against South Africa. Goes for the big hit. He didn't make it quite comfortably taken in the end by Sachin Tendulkar. Arjun Ranatunga departs. 7 for 202. The 200 coming up in the 49th over of 209 minutes of batting. Success for Prabhaka once more. Really launched himself into a big stroke in the penultimate over. Didn't quite get it. And at this stage, Sri Lanka's batsman had scored only seven boundaries and that too coming off the bats of six different Sri Lankan batsmen. Promote the Vikram Singh and the new batsman in. Every run matters at this stage. And after Sri Lanka really struggled in the midway through, this is a relatively good total. And 63 runs coming in the last 10 overs. The acceleration was always there. Kalpage's partnership with Arjuna Ranatunga was 44 runs. And Ranatunga and Jayasuriya also steadying the innings. And Ranatunga's runner ball half century in 78 minutes, including two boundaries, was crucial. 23 extras considered by India, 10 of them by Kapil Dev, who was erratic, although in the second spell he bowled much more tighter. But Sri Lanka's batting really coming into telling effect and Kalpage's contribution also crucial. Six bowlers tried by the Indian captain and although Prabhaka had two wickets and was supported by Chauhan who had two, the others really did not impress and Kumle's 
uh, wicketless performance of concern for India. But Tendulkar bowled tight in the middle session. So Sri Lanka's defence of the total. Ramanayaka the bowler to Manoj Prabhaka. The asking rate fractionally above four. And should they field quite tight, it could be a challenging one. Inspired fielding, he must be quite a tired man, Ranatunga. Really stretched himself, running between the wickets. Vikram Singha has the breakthrough. Navjot Sindhu departs, caught by Hashan Tilakaratna. The pair had put on a 77 run partnership in the previous one day match. But Sri Lanka striking win the second over of the innings and promote the first. Played it away from his body into the hands of the lone slip, Hashan Tilakaratna. And he is one of Sri Lanka's most dependable fielders. Absolute jubilation. Sri Lanka needed a good breakthrough and got it fast. Vinod Kamli, the new batsman. He has not impressed in the one-day matches but uh, made two centuries in the test series. So he's confident. And the crowd absolutely elated well struck by Manoj Prabhaka he's in fine touch that was a cracking cover drive and that brings him the first boundary well played by Vinod Kamli but inspired fielding here by Sri Lanka and that was Aravinda De Silva at mid off Wrapped on the pad, he's gone. Pramod De Vikram Singh are absolutely elated. And India have lost their second wicket with the total at 16 in the sixth over. Kept that ball in line with the stumps. Forced calmly onto the back foot. And then there was no question about that decision. Mohamed Azaruddin took a gamble, came in ahead of Sachin Tendulkar. He has taken two centuries of Sri Lanka in one day cricket. Well struck, very firmly played. And this is good cricket, Azruddin exquisite timing on that ball that earned him a boundary. And it's not easy to score boundaries at the Ketarama. Should have been cut off, two fielders failing to get to that ball. Asanka Gurusinghe finally gets there and a couple to Manoj Prabhaka. He's enjoyed a fine series. Over pitched, hit the wickets, didn't touch Ramanayaka's hand and Prabhaka can survive. Could have been at least a couple that was very firmly struck. And Azaruddin would consider himself unlucky. He didn't pass that wicket. Well struck over the top. Still 15 overs and the fielders have to be within the circle. Arvind De Silva fields. So good cricket by Manoj Prabhaka. He got three runs to that. And again another waiver delivery. Again going over the top this time. To cover, Kalpage has the long chase. So Prabhaka batting extremely well. 50 runs coming in the 13th over in 60 minutes of batting. Guru Singha, first change, slower delivery, dropped it short and Azaruddin scores his second boundary. Azaruddin down the track. That was a close call, very poor understanding between the two batsmen and Jayasuriya finally cut it off. But Azaruddin really was hearing down the track. Played it on the on side of the wicket, but good call by Manish Prabhakar. Murli Dharan. Oh, he dropped it. Came a long way to get his hands to it. 
and he dropped it. Prabhaka, a life there for him. Excellent effort by the bowler. Well, that was uh, very firmly struck over the top on the onside. Four runs, Wakan mid wicket region. Prabhaka striking extremely well. Azaruddin down the track, hoisting that one over. That went a long way. And that's six. Six runs of Muralidharan's sixth over. Again down the track. Similar stroke to the very next delivery. And it was six once more. 15 runs coming off that Muralidharan over. Ruan Kalpake introduced into the attack. The 50 partnership between the two batsmen coming up in 55 minutes of 12.5 overs. And they were really taking India to a very comfortable position. Manoj Prabhakar's fourth one day half century playing in his 93rd match. Again, wide of the field, four more. Prabhakar batting with a lot of assurance, that was his fourth boundary. India's 100 coming in the 26th over of 103 minutes of batting. Azaruddin quietly turns it over. And that's his second half century at the Ketarama in successive matches. And his 21st in one day cricket, playing in his 156th match. Well played moment Azaruddin. Sanat Jayasurya introduced into the attack. Lofted on the offside. Fine shot from Manoj Prabhaka. He's hitting that ball with a lot more ease. Dropped it. Straight into his hands. And that's the second life for Manoj Prabhaka. Promote the Vikram Singer. Should not give any excuses. Azaruddin goes over the top, he scored at mid-on by Asanka Gursinga. That was just after the second water break with India on 152 and it's 3 for 152 in the 36th over. Promote the Vikram Singer's 8th over and Azaruddin batted for 116 minutes, faced up to 89 balls and hit 2 sixers and 2 boundaries. So the Indian vice-captain coming in. Straight away off the mark with a fluent on drive. Delightful stroke player. The 150 of the innings coming in 141 minutes of batting in the 35th over. That was missed. Romesh Kaluvitarana fails together. He turned a long way. He had moved but didn't make it. So Sachin Tendulkar gets a life. Sanat Jayasurya to Manuj Prabhakar. Down the track, plays it officially, taken well by Ruan Kalpake at cover. So it's 4 for 175 in the 42nd over. Prabhaka, fine knock, 172 minutes. And he hit four boundaries, facing up to 126 balls. Jai Surya's eighth over. And a very, very powerful hit drive straight to the fielder. Praveen Amre has not succeeded for India. He's off the mark. Nevertheless, bad fielding by Arjun Ranatunga. He was off the field for a while, but came back. Now, two wickets have fallen since his return. Bold him. Praveen Amre gone. That ball turned a long way. It's 5 for 178 in the 43rd over. This was Murali Dharan's last over and a rich reward for the bowler. First forward, then back, trying to play it through vacant slip. That's the third time Praveen Amre was out in that fashion. Kapil Dev, the new batsman in. Wrapped on the pad. He's gone without scoring. 6 for 179 in the 44th over. He was not pleased, but there was no doubt about that decision. 
wrapped from in front and Jai Surya striking well. Vijay Yadav, the new batsman. He's the wicket keeper. Bold him. Played across the line. 7 for 180 in the 45th over. Sri Lanka getting back into this game. Yadav down the track. It was too early for him to do something special. Hitting leg stump and well bowled. Ruan Kalpage. Anil Kumle, the new batsman. The feeling was absolutely fabulous at this stage. Neatly played. Oh, a wild throw from the Sri Lankan captain. Really, there shouldn't have been any run. And finally, India made two. Tendulkar turns him. He wants to get the strike. The throw comes in. He's gone. Sachin Tendulkar is out. 8 for 189 in the 46th over. India losing wickets at regular intervals. And a superb effort from Chandika Hathru Singha. He had almost everything right with that one. A perfect collection. And a beautiful return right into the gloves of Romesh Kaluvitharna with Sachin Tendulkar desperately lunging to make ground, but well short of it. Very good decision. Rajesh Chawan, the new batsman, but Kumle taking strike. Drives on the offside. The field was packed on the on. Hashan Tilakaratan, the fielder. A couple to Anil Kumle. The crowd really brought to their feet at this stage. Full toss. He's gone. Rajesh Chawan is out. Caught and bowled by Ruan Kalpage picking up his second wicket. The penalty mat over here. And India in deep trouble. Two wickets in 16 balls. Ruan Kalpage in his sixth over. Firmly struck. But Kalpage had it all well covered. The last man in was Javagal Srinath and the entire Sri Lankan team had rallied around their captain to make sure. Aravind De Silva came into bowl the 48th over, bowled a very tight one and here he is in the final over. Wrapped up the pad, it's all over. Aravind De Silva strikes, four balls remaining and Sri Lanka have made it by eight runs. This was the case in the first one international, four balls remained and see the jubilation in the Sri Lankan team. They richly deserved it, kept that ball in line with the stumps and although a lot of people would have questioned umpire Patirana's decision to give the batsman out, nobody would have questioned Sri Lanka's right to win this match. Excellent recovery, got the last eight Indian wickets for 44 runs in 14 overs of 64 minutes of batting. Azharuddin completed 4,000 runs Involved in a third wicket stand, which is the highest for India in one-day matches against Sri Lanka for any wicket. And three batsmen failed to score, four others failed to get into double figures, and Sri Lanka considered very few extras. That was the story. Inspired spell from Promo Divikram Singha, the highest wicket taker, but the spinners did the rest, bowled well within themselves, and bowled Sri Lanka to victory. A fine win for Sri Lanka at the Ketaram Stadium to square the one-day series one-all. Siddharth Vettamuni, the adjudicator, named Manoj Prabhaka man of the match and he received the award from the Honourable Minister of Information and Broadcasting and the winner's cheque to Arjuna Ranthunga, himself top scorer in the Sri Lankan innings to be collected by the chief guest, the Honourable Minister of Housing and Construction live via at the Ketarama Stadium. Sri Lanka was not going to make the same mistake a second time. An exhilarating match that ended with a good win for Sri Lanka. They came back into this game with a purpose, played accordingly, and although at one stage they were drifting along, they fought back well to seal the match in their favour. A capacity crowd and superb Sri Lankan fielding, backed up by some purposeful bowling, made it all possible for Sri Lanka. So they go into the final game on Saturday at the Morotua Stadium with a chance of wrapping up the one-day series. We hope you enjoy the highlights and good night.